This video accompanies the section Overview of Data Collection Principles in Open Interest Statistics and provides basic tools for collecting data in such a way that the data are reliable and help achieve your desired research goals. In particular, we will learn about differences between populations and samples and study methods of sampling from a population. We will also learn about explanatory and response variables and contrast observational studies and experiments. Consider the research question, what is the average mercury content in swordfish in the Atlantic Ocean? The target population is all swordfish in the Atlantic Ocean, and each fish represents a case. A sample represents a subset of the cases and is often a small fraction of the population. For instance, 60 swordfish in the population might be selected, and this sample data may be used to provide an estimate of the population average and answer the research question. It's essential to draw a representative sample and avoid bias. Random samples are preferable, and the most basic random sample is called a simple random sample. However, even random samples can be flawed. Caution must be exercised if the non-response is high, because those who reply may not be representative of the entire population. In contrast, a convenience sample, where individuals who are easily accessible are more likely to be included in the sample, is generally a bad basis for making conclusions about the population. Consider the research question, is federal spending, on average, higher or lower in counties with high rates of poverty? If we suspect poverty might affect spending in a county, then poverty is an explanatory variable and federal spending is a response variable. Furthermore, if there are many variables, it may be possible to consider a number of them as explanatory variables. Labeling variables as explanatory and response variables does not guarantee the relationship between the two is actually causal, and we should always remember that association does not imply causation. There are two primary types of data collection, observational studies and experiments. Researchers perform an observational study when they collect data in a way that does not directly interfere with how the data arise. On the other hand, when researchers want to investigate the possibility of a causal connection, they conduct an experiment. In an experiment, the researcher controls who is allocated to receive the treatment and who is not. In this video, we learned about differences between populations and samples, and studied methods of sampling from a population. We also learned about explanatory and response variables, and contrasted observational studies and experiments. If you learned something you found interesting, share this video with a friend and visit openintro.org for more resources.